Hello, I'm Sarah, and I'm with the NASA at My Library Project and Cornerstones of Science. I'm here with the FunScope telescope to get you started. This is a great telescope for viewing objects in the night sky. It is a 76 millimeter reflector tabletop telescope. It's nice and rugged, light, easy to use. So don't be intimidated. You'll get, you'll get this very quickly. All right, let's get started with the setup. You'll be amazed at how quickly you can be viewing the night sky. So let's start with the eyepieces. You have received the telescope and two different eyepieces. One is a 20 millimeter and one is a six millimeter. You always want to start with the wide angle lens when you're viewing the night sky. The 20 millimeter is the wide angle lens and you'll get 15 power with that or 15 magnification. The six millimeter is kind of a zoom lens and you'll get 50 magnification with that one. You really only want to go to the zoom or the higher power if the night skies are really clear. So let's go start with the 20 millimeter. You're going to take the dust cap off the focuser section by just uh, loosening the screws. You'll set the eyepiece in the focuser and tighten the screw just to thumb tight. Next, you can take off the front of the telescope, which is the dust cap here, and set that aside. You'll see that this is, um, you'll see the mirrors inside. You have one at the back and you have one right under the focuser that um, light comes in, reflects off the back mirror and shoots it to the secondary mirror. So you see the image right in your eyepiece. Next, you're going to want to add the Easy Finder. That's it. I guess it's going to be your new best friend. <laughs> it actually helps you find things easier in the night sky than you, you probably normally could. Because remember, things up in the sky are pretty small. So we're going to attach this Easy Finder to the scope. And it's got this nice little base here. You just leave that other base on there and slide it right in. It makes a little clicking noise. All right, so we have our eyepiece in, we have our easy finder. We may be viewing at night or during the day, but you wanna kind of look up in the sky and have an idea on what you want to view. If it's during the day, you might focus maybe on an object that's pretty far away um, that you can see fairly clearly. Then you're gonna wanna turn on your easy finder. Now this is an LED light. It's not a laser, so it won't hurt your eyes. It's just reflecting on a little piece of uh, plastic right inside here, but it helps you. It's just a little pinpoint of red light. And I like to, I like to kind of point the telescope down so I can see it there and then kind of start kind of getting an idea where my object is in the night sky. Then I might bend down if I need to, to find the red light and then make sure it's right on right on the object that I want to view. So then um, you probably want to try and tighten down the adjustment knob, making sure that it's not moving. You might want to check again to see that it's right on the object you want to view. And then you should have the object right in your eyepiece. So you can bend down, take a look. You might need to use the focuser wheel to get the objects clear very subtly moving it, and the object should be right there in your eyepiece. Now, if it's a really clear night, you can move and use your six millimeter eyepiece, um, which again is a zoom, it's gonna give you 50 power. So you just uh, take out the other, put the six millimeter in, tighten the screw again. And again, if everything has stayed lock, kind of locked down and, no, and you haven't touched the the optical tube, then your object in the night sky should be right in the eyepiece. You may need to do a few adjustments. Sometimes maybe the table is moved <laughs> that you have or the optical tube is moved or some, you know, you may have touched it. So just kind of readjusting um, and you should be able to be really successful with this telescope. You'll want to use 
um, very sturdy tables such as a picnic table maybe at, uh, if you're outside. Um, a card table isn't so great because it kind of moves around a lot. So the next piece you could do if it's a really, really, really clear night, this is when you might want to use your Barlow lens. Your Barlow lens, 2x Barlow, is going to give you twice the power. So you want to first put your Barlow lens in and then add your other lens. We'll go for the six millimeter. Say it's a super clear night and you're pretty, you're pretty <laughs> aware how clear it is. So if the six millimeter gave you 50 power before, now it's going to give you 100 power. So again, you'll want to make sure your object, you have the easy finder red dot on your object, uh, tighten it down, and then take a look through your eyepiece. And it's going to be very clear, very detailed if it's a clear sky, clear night sky. If it's not a clear night sky, then you might want to back off and use your, your wide angle. Your wide angle 20 millimeter previously gave you um, 15 power and now it's going to give you 30 power. So that should be, uh, again, a nice, crisp, clear image and a little bit of wider angle. So those are the items that you received as part of your kit and the telescope. Again, don't be afraid of it. You can pick it up, move it around. Um, once you're done, you'll want to turn off your Easy Finder light. And um, we really, really hope you enjoy viewing the night sky and get to know your telescope. Thank you.